Hey everyone! So I just finished filming this golden green look um, and it's really pretty. It's very simple. It's only using a couple of eyeshadows and it looks really good on tan skin um, and it's super simple so if you want to learn how to do that just keep watching. Okay so to start off this look we're going to want to have a flawless face so to start off, I'm going to take my primer, the L'Oreal Studio Secrets one, and just take a little bit, and I'm not going to put it all over my face, I'm just putting it on the areas that I really want the makeup to stay on. So right here, around my nose. And a little bit of this goes a long way because it's very um, like smooth. Okay, then I'm going to take my CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation, and I only use a little bit of this, so I just kind of dot it on my fingers, on like three of my fingers, and then I'll rub my fingers like together, like this. And then I just like dot it on my face, and then blend it in with my fingers. And you want to make sure your hands are very clean if you're doing this with your fingers. And just make sure everything is well blended because you don't want any like streaks of your foundation. This is just going to even out your skin but it's not going to look too like cakey or fake. And you can go right under your eyes with that if you have any dark circles. So once it looks good um, you can go back in with concealer. I have a little spot. And I'm just taking like a concealer brush and MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And then I'm just putting that over that. I'm just taking MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in a Kabuki brush and just putting a tiny bit on the places where I get oily just to kind of set all of that makeup okay once you're done with that I like to kind of contour my face a little bit with some bronzer so I'm just taking this Clinique bronzer and the brush that it came with it's like really soft and it's like flat so I just rub it in there and go right under my cheekbones wow that looks a lot more dramatic on camera but it's not like a line And this just gives your face a nice shape and you look tanner. And when you blend it, you want to blend it up because it'll look more natural. Alright, so that's what I do. And then I take my blush in Fleur, Fleur Power and a little blush brush and this stuff is so pigmented so you like just need like that much and just put it on your cheeks I like to put my blush not like on the apples but kind of back because I tend to get kind of red right there so it's kind of already like a blush okay so now on to the eyes the first step is to prime your eyes with a primer so your makeup stays all day and you don't need a lot if you put a lot then it can actually make your eyes grease then just blend that in gently with your finger so the first shadow that we're going to take is on like an angled kind of brush is Woodwinked by MAC which is right there and just put that on your brush and we're going to put this on the 
inner half of your eye. Staying underneath the crease. So this is just a very vibrant gold color. If you can see that. And with that same brush, you just kind of want to like wipe it off a little bit. And the next color we're going to take is Sumptuous Olive, which is right there. It's just a green gold color. And we're going to take that on that same brush. And put it on the outer half of our lid. And with this color you can take up a little bit into the crease. Right now you're going to have kind of like a line in the middle of your eye. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a blending brush and just very lightly go over that center of the line just to kind of blend them together. Very lightly though because you don't want the colors to completely blend together. And then you want to blend out the edge of your crease. Green color, you're going to go underneath your eye. Alright, so the eyeshadow is done. I'm just going to apply a couple coats of Great Lash Mascara and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is the finished look. And it's just very golden and there's a little bit of green but you can't really tell and it just looks really good especially if you have kind of tan skin it looks really amazing so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye